Hello. In this video you will see how to run Stable Diffusion on Clore.ai. Firstly you will need an account, I already have my account, so I will just log in. You will need to have some balance on the platform to create your order. You can easily see your Bitcoin deposit address after clicking the deposit button. Now we can go to Marketplace and we will see available machines. For Stable Diffusion to run you will want machine with at least 16 GB of RAM and 8 plus GB of GPU VRAM. On note of GPUs, Stable Diffusion can only utilize one GPU, so one GPU machines are ideal. If you know what you are doing, you can for example utilize more GPUs when doing batch render so that individual images will be splitted between the GPUs, but that is not natively supported in Streamlit and is outside of range of this video. You will benefit from faster internet speeds, because you will need to download the software to the machine, which can take long time, 1 gigabit is ideal, but currently no machines with that kind of internet speeds are available, so we will just get this 1x3090 machine. When renting the machine we will forward port 8501 for the web UI and copy Jupyter password. Now we will create the order and wait until it is deployed. We can use SSH for connecting to the machine, but for simplicity of this video we will open the Jupyter, paste the password that we have copied few seconds ago and hit login. We will open new terminal. Firstly we will run this command to install necessary packages for the stable diffusion. For simplicity we will be using Sigil WebUI to install Stable Diffusion. Firstly we will need to set up Anaconda on the server, so we will head to Anaconda website and copy download link for 64-bit Linux installer. And download it to the server using wget. Then we will add execute permission to the installer and run it, hit enter, go throughout license agreement, type yes and hit enter. Now Anaconda will start its install process. Finally we can say yes to run Conda in it. Then we can load Anaconda into our shell. Now we go to Sigil WebUI website and click on this script button, which will open GitHub. Click raw, and copy script URL. Now you can download the script with wget. And add execute permission to it. Now you can run the script. We will not customize the launch arguments. Now everything required will be downloading and installing. Speed is dependent on machine internet, CPU and disk speed. Now you can remove all the cached files. Now we can select Streamlit as our WebUI interface. We don't need to fill in our email, just hit enter. Now the Streamlit WebUI will be running on port 8501 that we have forwarded earlier. So we can go to one of the public endpoints and the WebUI will load. We will firstly go to Model Manager and download some model. I will download Waifu Diffusion, like the anime style. Streamlit don't show the model download progress, we only see running in the right top corner. We can see the download in the terminal. When the model will be downloaded, we can go to Stable Diffusion tab. Select the model and write some prompt. First time running the model it will download also some checkpoints. Streamlit doesn't show progress of this, so we can look at the terminal. And then we will have generated an image of what we have wanted. We can for example set batch count to generate more images with random seed, so we will look at more outcomes. This was showcase how to run stable diffusion on Clore.ai Marketplace, hope you have liked the video and have a nice day.